phrase like uh, this charismatic theologian, I just thought that's an oxymoron. There's no charismatic theologians. They don't even study the word. They, they just dream and have visions. I mean, that's really what I believe. So I thought I will protect the church from these people who are getting away from the word of God and just chasing their fantasies. And I've got to save the church from them. So I don't think I was evil. I, 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 I know I was arrogant, like off the charts arrogant, but there was almost this side of me that felt like, God, I'm doing this for you. And what changed me was I was on this board uh, with this guy named Jack Hayford, and um, which I was nervous about and didn't was uncomfortable being on there, but it was for the poor. So as I got to know him and I got to see his character, I thought, oh my gosh, the love he had for people who were attacking him. That's what changed me. I apologized to him. And from that point on, it was like this openness of, man, when he, when Jack started teaching the word of God, that's when it was so humbling. He was using the heap. I mean, I just thought, okay, here we go. What vision did you have today? He got into the word, Greek, Hebrew, in a way that was so humbling, and that mixed with his character and love and compassion, it, it really changed this arrogant, uh, I need to fight against all these people, 